Mario's monster. That failed. This does not look like Mario. And then fixed it to, well, look more normal. Though this, I set myself a pretty low bar with this one. <laughs> How did this all come to be, you ask? Well, the day was May 14th and Nintendo released their trailer for a new Paper Mario game. I decided to make a Mario and release a video the day the video game released, which obviously didn't happen. But I did decide to immediately start searching around to see if others have made Mario from 3D Origami, and boy, have they. Okay, so I knew I just had to follow what some of these people did. What could go wrong? And after taking my sweet time folding a bunch of these units, I got started. Finally. Most of the designs I saw built Mario out of cylinders, two for the legs, one for the body, one for the head, and two for the arms. I wanted to use that style. Starting from the body, I used 40 units around here to make the circumference of the circle. And built up the blues. When I was comfortable with the height, I started adding in the reds. This body looks fine, but the head was where it all went south. You see, I was using normal origami paper instead of printing paper, and because of their different consistencies, the 40 unit ring for the head turned out to be quite a bit smaller than the ring for the body. During this entire process, I learned quite a few things about Gold Adventure folding, and here's lesson number one, the consistency of the paper matters. So after that, I decided to put the head directly onto the body. Initially, that worked great, until, well, I ran out of units and started to use orange for Mario's hair. Which brings us to lesson number two, Gold Adventure takes a lot of units. And after giving Mario some creepy eyes and a giant nose, the Mario monster was born. So I did really try. I thought some eyes and a nose would help fix a face that wasn't quite working out. But in retrospect, that was just not going to work. And after I created this monstrosity, it was already the game release date and there was no way I was just going to put this out there. In addition, I didn't know what else to do. I didn't even know how to fix this. After sleeping on it, I remembered seeing other designs, smaller but ones that looked just like Mario. I decided to try that out. The body turned out fine like the other one, but I did get scared when I started making the head. I was actively fixing the stuff that went wrong previously. and even design Mario a new set of eyes. In the end, I think it turned out fine. For the hat, I tried out using red units, but that didn't work, so I decided to work on the nose, the arms, and the legs first. And after making the decision to use the old nose for now, I started playing with the arms. Probably maybe like one, two, three, or four even. No, let's do four. Four sounds like a good number. Hey, 
Hey, Mario stands. Okay. And then just give him some brown boots or shoes. At this point, I just had a nose and a hat to work on. I decided the original nose was too big, and so I made a smaller nose, but it was still too big. And so I eventually decided I wanted to use regular origami for the nose and the hat. I'll be making Mario's hat from this, and Mario's nose from this, and just attaching it to the rest of his body. But first, we need to figure out what crease patterns we want. So I brought along this to, well, prototype. Um, and the idea is this box is going to be inserted into Mario's face somehow. And one of the things I'm starting to notice is that this box is plenty big enough. And this sheet of paper is so much smaller than this. Um, so what I'm going to end up doing probably is cut this into quarters and just use that. First though, let's finish prototyping. Cool! And so now I just make it out of this color, well, a quarter of this, and voila! Now for the hat! Okay. So about here. <gasps> it works. So Mario needs a mustache. And the overalls also needed some work. This was my first major attempt at designing a golden adventure structure, so I feel pretty happy with this. I learned so much from this origami adventure and will definitely be applying what I've learned on future journeys. And perhaps the most important thing I've learned is to not procrastinate and wait until the week of the deadline to start making the model, which is a lesson that I never seem to quite internalize. But anyway, thanks for sticking around for this, and as usual, feel free to leave origami ideas in the comments, or better yet, go onto my Discord and leave them there so I could have a permanent record of them. And yes, we do have a Discord, link is in the description. And with that said, see you on the Discord if you're there, and if you're not, see you guys on the next video. Bye.